Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today we're gonna talk about in terms of the topic of uh, auto regressive time series model. In short, it's called the AR model, right? Uh, so the auto regressive time series model. Uh, for those who do not know what time series is, uh, there's a video done before, so please take a look at it. Uh, this is a follow-up in terms of the different type of time series model. This one is the auto regressive time series model, uh, properly called as AR model. So what an AR model really is, uh, it's a time series, right? Uh, what time series it is, is going to be based on, the time series is based on its own past value. Right. So let's say if somebody wants to determine what is a sales uh, of a, a company at a particular quarter, uh, you don't really have to go and look at anywhere else. So you can take a look at, so let's say you want, you want to calculate the sales of a particular company. Uh, you do the regression model. You take a look at the sales of the previous one and then you can go and predict uh, the future, so you can take the sales of previous and try to predict the future. So this is kind of an auto, a really simple auto regressive model where the time series model is based on its own past values, right? It's not, uh, so if you take a look at uh, the different models that we talked about before, uh, which is, uh, you know, before we used to do Y equal B naught plus B1 XT, plus error term where y used to be a dependent variable, xt used to be an independent variable. So now we're trying to find out the independent variables. So let's say now we have changed it into right, so this is an AR model. Uh, this is a linear regression model, right? So this AR model, uh, this is how it's really been defined. Uh, I mean, if you want to do it differently, you can do xt minus 1 plus b2, xt minus 2 plus b3, xt minus 3 plus error term, right? Uh, but if you want to see what is an AR1 model, so the 1 denotes the 1 from the previous. If you want a AR2 model, uh, then it's going to be based on the 2, right? So that's what it really is with an aggress autoaggressive time series model. Now keep in mind, if we are taking a look at a model which is based on its past value, we want to go and determine if there is any kind of a serial correlation, right? Serial correlation, right? Uh, serial correlation is where the error terms are correlated or not. So that's where we use a Durbin-Watson statistics. For those who don't know what Durbin-Watson uh, model is, uh, there's a video being done talking about serial correlation. Uh, please take a look on there. It's going to talk about uh, the Durbin-Watson testing. Now, when you talk about uh, uh, an AR1 model, so let's say we look at an AR1 model. Uh, there are certain conditions, right? Uh, for So certain conditions that uh, what we really want to do is, uh, one, take a look at if this kind of equation that we have is covariance stationary. Right. So what is covariance stationary? Covariance stationary means there has to be a mean, a finite mean, finite and constant mean in all periods. So when you say talk about uh, a constant mean, so let's say, you know what, uh, if xt minus 1 is equal to b0 plus b1, xt minus 1, right? So we're trying to find if there is kind of a covariance, right? So what we do is xt minus 1, 1 minus b1 equals b0. xt minus 1 equals b0 over 1 minus b1. Now, how can there be a, co a finite mean, right? Finite or a constant mean, right? Now, let's say, you know what? Uh, so let's say, if B1 was equal to zero, 
if b1 is equal to 0, then this equation is going to become uh, xt minus 1 equals b0, 1 minus 0 is going to become stay as b0. Now, what if b1 is equal to 1? If b1 is equal to 1, then xt1 is going to become b0 over 1 minus 1, which is b0 over 0. So what it means if b0 over 0 is uh, it's not a finite. Right, anything over zero is not really a finite number. So what it really means on here, if generally for something to have uh, a covariance stationary, it needs to have a finite and constant mean. And what it really means is that the B1, uh, this one should not be it. If B1 is equal to one, there is no constant mean. There is no constant mean, means it's not covariance stationary. Now, why is covariance stationary really important? The reason, uh, the reason being is if we have our models, right? So let's say, you know what, we have this model or we have this model, right? So this is a linear model. This is maybe something that goes up exponentially. So we got, so I mean, these two models, no matter what it is, we want to convert it into something like this, right? Something which has a mean. So this is a mean, right? And I mean, there's some kind of constancy, right? So I mean, if we know the value of this, we can predict the future of this. If we know this, then we can tell what is, can this be this? If we can know this, then we can tell this. So we, it's really important for us to really find out, irrespective of what the models are, uh, can we convert it into a model where there is some kind of a constant mean, right? And generally, if there is, if B1 is equal to one, uh, then there is gonna be no constant mean, right? Because I mean, we did the, look at the previous, stuff on there to take a look at it. I mean, if B1 is equal to one, then there is gonna be no constant mean in there. So irrespective of what kind of uh, equation that you try to create on there, uh, so generally goes back to, let's say, let me just write it back on here. Right, so if you try to find a constant mean, what we do is instead of xt, we do B0 plus x1, t minus one plus the error term. Right, and then we put bring this one back on here. So this one becomes B1. So two things we know. I mean B1 equal to one, there's gonna be no constant mean. And I mean if um if B1 is less than one, then yes, there can be a constant mean. I mean if B1 is say 0.5 point eight or whatever I mean you still get a positive number down here which means you will get a constant number up here which means it is going to be con covariance uh, stationarity so yeah guys so if you do like the video about this uh, do like and subscribe keeps you motivated to make more video for you guys have a good one